I'm Danny Boom and welcome to Recipe Rehab, sponsored by Everyday Health. On this week's episode, the Jameson family's favourite dessert is Mum's apple pie. Hey guys, you want to help me make an apple pie? Yeah! yeah. I love my mum's apple pie. Wow, this is going to be so good. Yeah. The apple pie recipe came from my grandmother. She gave it to me 30 years ago and I've sort of improved on it. With more than 550 calories, this recipe needs a major health makeover. Dad recently lost 50 pounds, so to help him keep the weight off, we need to lower the fat so we can still enjoy our favorite Christmas tradition. My mom's apple pie is not a healthy recipe. It's a lot of sugar. <laughs> yeah. The apple pie needs to be rehabbed because there is a lot of butter. The pastry is very thick. It's a fattening dessert. Eating healthy is really important for me and my siblings just because we want to stay in good shape. <laughs> Please, we have our apple pie recipe. Our two chefs will battle it out in the kitchen to see who can rehab the Jameson's recipe and make it more nutritious. I'm gonna make a crust with this low-fat graham cracker. I'm not gonna sugar my apples. We're gonna use the natural sweetness. Without sacrificing any of the flavor. I bet it's all the spices put together, which sounds kind of disgusting. The Jamesons will cook the rehab recipes in their own kitchen. Oats are the best. I love oats. What? What are you, a horse? They'll judge them on taste, health, and ease. Sweet Get table. Get down and dirty. Which recipe will fall flat? It doesn't really look anything like apple pie. No. Which will score big? Whoa, 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 whoa. And who will win the title of Recipe Rehab Champion? It's gonna be a tough decision. Yes, it will. And now let's meet the lord and the lady of the kitchen who will take on this week's epic task at the green station, Chef Spike Mandelson. And at the yellow station, Chef Maria Ibrahim. So, chefs, are you ready to take a closer look at Mum's apple pie? All right. There we go. Ooh. Ooh. Just like my grandma makes. Okay, this apple pie tastes so good, but it's not good for you. It's got 598 calories a slice. Over half of those are from fat. You've just got one hour to get those calories to say bye-bye to this American pie. Let's put 60 minutes on the clock. Are you ready? Oh, yeah. Are you set? Yes. Okay, so let's rehab that recipe. Our chefs will be judged in three categories. The Jameson family will judge these dishes on taste and ease of preparation. Plus, the everyday health nutritionist will give each recipe a score for health. So tell me, Maria, what is going to be different about your apple pie? That crust, whoo, that's got a lot of butter in there. I'm going to make a crust with this low-fat graham cracker okay. and some heart-healthy oats to just boost that cholesterol-fighting power, you know? And you're going to make one whole pie. I am. So you're actually trying to keep a little bit traditional here. This time of year, people want that pie. And Spike, so what are you going to be doing? First of all, the crust's got to go. We've all agreed on that right. straight away, crust yeah? crust has to go. We're going to use phyllo. Is it lower in fat? It is lower in fat. Absolutely. You've got to be very sensitive with the phyllo, right? Yeah. And as he's a sensitive man, ladies... <laughs> what I'm thinking is you always have to put butter on to keep it moist, because the problem with phyllo is it, it disintegrates in your hands. So what are you going to do different? We're going to use a little bit of butter. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit. Yeah, and we're going to dilute it with some water. Or you can use some hand spray if you'd like. Yeah. Maria, how's that crust going? It's coming along great. Look at that. So Isn't how do you make it all stick? Egg whites. Oh, egg whites. It's going to be my binder. It doesn't have any saturated fat in it, which is awesome. Then I'm going to cook this for about 10 minutes just to let it get nice and toasty brown, and then we'll layer in the pie filling. And, how, and what, what temperature is that? It's 350. Now, are we using any particular apple here? I'm going to be using Granny Smith. As you can see, I'm not going to sugar my apples, because we're going to use the natural sweetness. I'm going right. to use some light agave syrup, which is actually one and a half times sweeter than sugar. Right. I'm just going to use a little less then. See, oh, look at that. You cored the apples. I did. And you used a corer. But basically, you literally put the apple down, cored it, and pulled it back out. The seeds right out. Oh, yeah. Super easy. Look at what Marie's doing. Isn't that nice? I've seen okay. ginger, I see raisins, I see cinnamon, I see apples. Yes. So we've got the seasonal flavors kicking in. Yes. Yeah. Everything that says apple pie. So you're right? using golden delicious apples there. I right? am. And you know why? Why is that? Because they have a slightly higher sugar content, so you don't have to add as much sugar I in. See. Beautiful.
Well, so Spike, you're doing individual portions by the looks of things. Yeah. I mean, the whole thing about when you're getting the holidays, it is all about the portions. You might score yourself some points there, Spike. Maybe. Really, really good. It's time to big my shells. So, they're going to go in the oven. Are they, they going to go in at 350 as well? Yeah. Are we waiting just for them to brown? Yeah, we're just going to power cook them just a little bit. Great. What are your feelings on this? I think I'm taking Spike down. Ooh. Ooh. He didn't hear that, though. Ouch. <laughs> Maybe you did. So we've got these two great differences going on here. We've got the phyllo, which basically is doing the individual portion, which is really, really clever. And then Maria is going for, actually, she's going for the pie. I love that. We're coming up to the halfway point, so it's time for a break. But while we're gone, think about your answer to today's Better Eats Pop Quiz. Here's today's Better Eats Pop Quiz question. Which fruit has the most fiber? Is it A, pears? B, strawberries, or C, apples? The answer to that question and pie is coming up when we return to Recipe Rehab. Welcome back to Recipe Rehab. Before the break, we asked you, which fruit has the most fiber, pears, strawberries, or apples? Well, it's not apples and it's not strawberries, it's pears. One medium-sized pear has up to six grams of fiber, about one quarter of your daily value. Since most of the fruit's fiber is found in its skin, think twice before peeling. Let's get back to the action. With only 30 minutes left in the competition, Chef Spike is replacing most of the sugar with agave nectar. Meanwhile, Chef Maria has swapped the crust for a crumble. These desserts are definitely getting healthier, but which pie will the Jamesons want calling on their windowsill this Christmas? So, guys, 30 minutes left. How are you getting on there, Spike? You know, usually in a regular apple pie, you're not going to really cook the apples. Right. But we are today. OK. So we're going to put some heat on. Nice. And now we've got fire. Maria, how's this uh, pie crust going here? Are we looking for the graham crackers and the oats to start cooking off and Yes, bonding? in fact, I should probably go check yeah. on that. <sighs> so there's our pie crust out of the oven. Ooh, that's beautiful. Doesn't that smell good? It really does. Spike, what's all the banging for? I'm just trying to get them a little loose. Ah, so your phyllo pastry's out. Look at that, kids. Nice and brown on the outside. Now, Maria, is that margarine or is that butter? It is a butter-free spread. But is it made with a vegetable oil or...? It is. It's right. made with a vegetable oil, That's so you don't have that saturated fat. No saturated fat, no trans fats. artery-clogging stuff. You know what right. I mean? Are you using brown sugar? I am. I'm going to use just a little bit. It's going to give it that nice... Because smell that you a, associate so with we, a pie, but uh, So let me think. Know. So we've got the ginger, the cinnamon, the raisins are gonna go in, and vanilla's going in. Spike, can I have a look under here? See sure. what's going on? Oh, that's beautiful. Did you put any oil in with the apples? No oil. I put a little bit of agave nectar and I'm oh. gonna use cranberries in this right now. No? What? Yeah. Cranberries? Cranberries. Oh, he's just put it up a notch. You cranberries, I got raisins. You got raisins. Wow, that's a pie. And then I'm, now, I'm making the topping here. I love apple crumb. Are you just going to use the oats or are you going to use the graham crackers as well? I'm just the oats in this one with a little more cinnamon and some salt, some kosher salt. All right. But you get in there with your hands. You got to get dirty. Spike is already playing. Look at that, you're, you're in there. The looks of it, you're ready to go in the oven, oh, OK? Yes. Yeah. So our ovens are preheated at 350, is that correct? Yeah. That's all going in. Thank you, sir. If you like what you see here today, be sure to catch the first season of Recipe Rehab on YouTube. Just search Recipe Rehab. Is it done? Yes. Oh. Hang on, why are you putting cream on this? It's. Non-fat whipped topping. It's only 10 calories per two tablespoons. And you're putting ice cream on top of these as well. Frozen yogurt. Frozen yogurt. So guys, you've got 30 seconds left. Three, two, one. Time's up, guys. Way to bake. You've really rehabbed this recipe. I can feel it already. Beautiful stuff.
When we come back, the Jamesons are going to have to recreate their pies. It's phyllo versus crumble. It's cranberries versus raisins. Which chef has got the better eats? You've got to stay tuned to find out. We'll see you soon. Welcome back to Recipe Rehab. Chef Spike and Chef Maria bake the health out of those apple pies. Or should I say they bake the health into them? I tried both of them, and I've got to say, they were awesome. But the real judges are the Jamesons. And as we speak, they're opening boxes containing those rehab recipes and all the ingredients they need to make them. Let's see if they can work the same magic you guys did. OK, so you guys do the green version. Oh, me and Kenya. Yeah, the two of you. Yeah. All right. Good luck. <laughs> and we'll take the yellow one. What do we got in the green box? I mean, I don't know why you would need this, but it tastes like real butter. Is it margin? Butter spread. No. Oh, look, we have cranberries. I thought we're, we're making apple pie, not cranberry pie. So we're in the ingredient box, and we're pulling out this, we're pulling out that. There's this agave stuff, which is this natural sweetener. And then there's cranberries. You know, I'm open to it, but kind of. A little skeptical. Graham crackers. Why would we need these for an apple pie? I don't know. An allspice. I don't know what allspice is. I bet it's all the spices put together, which sounds kind of disgusting. All right, let's get cooking. Let's all get right. cooking. Are you making mini apple pies? I think we're making mini apple pies. Eight low-fat graham crackers. My dad lost 50 pounds recently. We're very proud of him. My kids are skinny now, but so was I when I was a kid. If I can get them on the right path now, hopefully they won't have to go through all of that and buy so many different versions of the same pair of jeans. So the egg white's going there. Mom, should I mess okay. it up? Yeah. The yellow recipe has more natural ingredients. So instead of using dough, we use like oats, egg whites, graham crackers, and we use less sugar, definitely. We use less, but like butter that's not exactly butter. So far, it doesn't really look anything like apple pie. No. Let me show you how you do this. You hold it in one hand, then you pull it out. I missed. I missed. So now we're working on the filling for the pie. We have apples, cinnamon, ginger, and right now we've got to mix them together to get the cinnamon on all the apples, so on and so forth. So Kenny, yeah. so here's the deal. I literally have not had dessert in five and a half months. Well, do not fear, my friend. The family recipe is 598 calories, and the green what? recipe is only 144. Wow. And then there's 26 okay, grams of fat in mom's recipe, okay. oh my God. but Mom. only four in green recipe. Mom, can I what? Yeah. That is actually kind of crazy. That's okay. crazy. Cook over medium heat, stirring occasionally until apples are soft, about 15 minutes. Pour it in there and make a crust out of it. Just push it down along the sides. What are you guys doing right now? The top, it's oats, butter, cinnamon. Oats are the best. I love oats. What? What are you, a horse? <laughs> so, Mom, do you know that your recipe has 598 calories? Oh my god. Ours only has 165. Oh my gosh, that's terrific. That really is 598. Um, that's a lot of calories. Wow. Mom, your recipe has 62 grams of sugar, yeah. and the yellow recipe has only 17. That's amazing. I'm not shocked because I put a lot of sugar in mine, so that's fantastic. And guys, you know, it looks different, but it actually smells very similar, doesn't it? Yeah, it it does. So this is the phyllo dough. It says on BetterEats.com that these tissue paper thin pastry sheets make a great low fat alternative to regular pastry. Filo dough has no saturated fats or trans fats and no cholesterol. We're gonna have four layers of it. Well, in general, the green recipe wasn't that hard to make. It was just putting the phyllo strips took a long time. And then we're Perfect. gonna stuff it in like that. Right on. And oh, because we're not actually making like pie. one huge pie. We're making little ones. For we're making little food. pilots. Yeah. Well, with my mom's recipe, my dad can cut as big a slice as he wants, but with our green recipe, he can just have a smaller portion. OK, guys, let's put them both in and see uh, see what they come out as. Right. My kids aren't picky eaters. However, they are very particular about my apple pie. So it will have to be pretty good for it to, to make on our Christmas table this year. There you go. Yummy. I love my mom's apple pie, but I'm not sure if these are going to taste great, but we'll see. Let's eat our delicious apple pies, and I think we should start with a yellow recipe first. Terrific. Okay, guys, on the count of three. Three, <laughs> two, one. Wow. That's actually 
actually really, really good. That's like really good. My first dessert in five and a half months. Okay. That's amazing. I think the cinnamon tastes really good with the apples. It's lighter. It's not, doesn't like weigh you down so much. I think it's awesome. I just love the whipped cream, how the whipped cream, the apples, and the brown sugar just like. Whipped cream's good. Raisins, not a big fan of raisins. <laughs> I'm gonna eat around the raisins. So guys, congratulations to the yellow team. You did a pretty great job. However, it's now time for the green team, right, Kenya? You and yeah. me? Ready? Here we go. Um, that was really good. good. Mom, um, it doesn't really taste like your apple pie, but it's still really good. The flaky thing is kind of cool. Yeah. I like the flaky. It's delicious. It's actually really good. I didn't expect Eco of them to turn out this great. It's a little it's too enough. sour for me. That's a little too sour for you? You have a sweeter tooth? Yeah. I love the crushed. I think the crushed is better actually than my my crushed. I think that's really, really good. It's really amazing to have a dessert that's not so fattening. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. <laughs> okay, guys, you've had the yellow and the green, and now it's time to score them. It's gonna be a tough decision. Yes, it will. I couldn't quite tell which rehab recipe they liked more. When we come back, the Jamesons will crown the winner between Chef Spike and Chef Maria. Who has the pie of the tiger? It's just desserts when we return to Recipe Rehab. Welcome back to Recipe Rehab, it's decision time. JJ Jameson recently lost 50 pounds, but with the holidays coming up, his family is worried about mom's irresistible apple pie. Chef Spike and Chef Maria put their brains and burners to the challenge of making a healthier version of that dessert. But today, only one pie can rule them all. They'll be judged in three categories. The Jameson family will judge the dishes on taste and ease of preparation. Plus, the everyday health nutritionist will give each recipe a score for health. Now, there's 10 points per category, so the perfect score is 30. So, chefs, are you ready to see the results? I think we are. Yep, yeah, definitely. Feeling confident? I think I'm so, yeah. Right, OK, so let's take a look at how you did, Chef Spike. OK. Thank you, chefs, for rehabbing our recipe. You've not only made my mom's apple pie healthy, but also tastes really good. For the green recipe, for taste, we scored it a nine out of 10. We love the flaky crust and the portion sizes. The health score is a 10. The Everyday Health Nutritionist gave Chef Spike a perfect 10 for keeping the calories and the fat under control. How do you feel about that, eh? I feel really good. Yeah? Yeah, I think I'd be very healthy. proud. For ease of preparation, we give it a 10. The steps are so simple, even my dad could do it. Wait, what? For a total score of 29. Wow. wow. Chef Spike with a total of 29. 29. Ooh. 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 OK, feeling good? I'm feeling pretty good, but I mean, strong competitor there. She might get 30 out of 30. You okay. did really good, though. OK, so let's find out what the Jamesons thought of Chef Maria's yellow recipe. For the yellow recipe for taste, we gave it a perfect 10. I love the brown sugar and cinnamon. And I love the oatmeal crust. It was so good, it might even be better than my mom's. The overall health score is a 10. So for a low-cal dessert, the everyday health nutritionist gave Chef Maria a 10. For ease of preparation, we gave it a 10. The recipe was super simple, and the crust was really easy to make. For a total score of 30. And the winner is the yellow recipe. And that means, Chef Maria, you are the recipe rehab champion Woo! for today. Well yeah. done. Wow, congratulations, Thank Chef. You. That's awesome. I'm excited. Perfect 30. Yeah. Feel the love in the room. Thank you. OK, now, if you at home would like great recipes, cooking tips and tricks, head over to bettereats.com slash recipe rehab. Hats off to today's chefs and thanks to the Jamieson family and all of you for watching. We'll see you next time for another culinary intervention on recipe rehab. See you soon. Closed captioning and other promotional considerations for recipe rehab are provided by...